Oh, cool. You can actually see it in the camera. See those lines? Those wavy, wavy lines? Look at all those. Such a weird pattern. Trippy. Not those lines, but like these. See that? Also, it's all scratched up. Even though it was clean, still all scratched up. Irony. This is Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official game of the movie. Although there was an unofficial game of the movie. Probably not. So this one, if we get real close, not that close, kind of closer. Oh, what the heck, I'm just going to write on it. This is a disc that sometimes people say they get... And it's got all these lines that look like this on it. You ever see a disc like that? Well, I know what that comes from. Ugh. He actually didn't go to medical school. He didn't go to any formal training at all. So I don't know why he's referring to himself as a doctor, that's malpractice. Shouldn't trust him. Shouldn't give medical advice. Did it all so he could hand out prescriptions. Terrible. This is a skip doctor. These things have been around since the, ah, heck, 90s, I think. I've had, ah, heck, more than a few of them in my life. This one is their latest model. For you see, it opens. And, oh gosh, it's battery powered. And nonsense. Someone sent me this a while ago. <laughs> you can plug it into the mains. Someone sent me this a while ago because they wanted to see if I could make it work. And that's a terrible thing because no, you can't make these work. I mean, it works in theory. And what it does is you put King Kong, I'm sorry. Look, I'm sorry about this, but you know, we're here. This is happening. You drop it in there. And then as it rotates, this little blue wheel goes slowly down. Someone was using polish on this. Goes slowly down, and it scrapes off a layer of the disc. Oh, you can almost see it. It scrapes off a little layer of the disc every single time. Remember those lines? So as it goes through, it just polishes in these straight lines. Okay, and what you end up getting is this weird, kind of a scallopy look, kind of a straight line look, that sort of thing. Um, it's terrible. And every time you see a disc that has this specific pattern, really wish it would show up on camera. Every time you see a disc that has this specific pattern, you know that it came from the Skip Doctor, who is not an actual doctor, he just plays one on TV. The old ones, there was pump ones, there was crank ones. I had a ton of the different crank ones. It was like this, and then there was a little crank on the side, and then you crank it, and it goes through. Old-timey stuff that no one uses anymore, okay? But if you do, don't please don't use these. All it is is basically just a really slow... I don't want to say a belt sander, but it's basically like a really slow belt sander that's just sanding off. Oh, my goodness. And we know that it doesn't necessarily work all that well because it's leaving scratches on the discs. It's not actually polishing them. It's just ripping a layer off. It, just bad. These, these are bad. Also, bad. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you... Get out of here, doctor. I'm going to show you using my sweet, sweet boy Novus how you can get rid of these scratches, Okay. But, like, hear me out. It's going to be kind of weird because we're not going to do, like, a ton to get rid of the scratches. Just enough so you can see a change if you're able to see the scratches. Just enough so that you can see a change. And then I'm going to show you, again, what Il Doctore does to these poor little discs. Okay? Why am I not a fan of the Skip Doctor? Also, how are you doing today? But for real, how are you guys doing? How's everyone doing? I feel like I never ask. I feel like we jump in here and start cleaning. You good? Usually the cat answers for me, but not today. I I got this disc and I was so excited because I love when it's just clearly, painfully obvious that someone has cleaned a desk, disc using a skip doctor. It's a very specific pattern and a very specific look. I'm using cotton balls. Um, 
I've been using cotton balls more and more because it's helping me to reduce how much force I put on something so that I don't scratch it up too much. And I've, I've said it in a couple of videos, and I'll say it in this video as well. If you're having a problem with polishing and then leaving surface scratches, try some cotton balls. Cotton balls, cotton pads, any of that stuff. Try some of that stuff when you're polishing, and it'll help reduce the amount of surface scratches. Um, and it just kind of helps ease up things a little bit. I'll go around here and you'll notice what I'm doing as I go is I'll rotate it to a couple of clean sides and then after a while I'll fold it in on itself. Um, you do that basically when the piece of cotton that you're using is too full up of polish. Switch to a cleaner side and then you're able to get a real decent polish going on in there. Spread out the extra. I mean this is in there though. So this might take a couple of rounds. Oh, it looks terrible. Oh, terrible, but we're getting rid of it. Kind of. I mean, in theory, the Skip Doctor's aren't a terrible idea, but it is kind of this, how are we gonna clean a disc? Well, let's just sand off a small layer of it. That's probably good, like, okay, maybe. But back in the day, it was kind of like, well, there's polycarbonate and you can take off the polycarbonate, it's no big deal. And what's happening is, it's so much more common for stores and collectors that get discs in that they say, well, this disc is a little scratched. I want to polish it. Let me put it in the polisher. And so they put it in a polisher and then, you know, they sell it to someone else and then someone else gets it and they say, hey, this looks great, but I want to polish it. Let me put it in the polisher, you know, just by handling it and dealing with it a little bit. Someone says, hey, this looks great, but I want to polish it. And then they polish it. And so then it just turns into this perpetual polishing that every single person's doing. There's still a ton of scratches on here, but that's all right. We're about to do something even worse. So we got rid of... That's a fingerprint. Another fingerprint. So we got rid of... You see the lines that we have right now are actually just the disc itself and the light reflecting. And we don't have those lines anymore. This is actually really hard to see. On camera I'll see if I can find some good pictures I'll post some pictures of what it looks like or maybe I'll just take some pictures I don't know so but realistically this looks great right aside from that little finger smudge this is looking 10 times better than it was before a couple of little scratches here and there this will play no problem probably would have played from the beginning oh mm. so to use this correctly you take the Skip Doctor Rejuvenating Fluid for use with Skip Doctor Repair Systems, Portule Systems de Reparation de Disque Skip Doctor, I believe, contains 99.5% filtered water and 0.5% isopropanol as a preservative. No, it's not. It's a solvent. And you're using it as a solvent, and you're using it to solvent things. You spray it on the disc. You pick it up, you put it in here. The things I do for you guys, also for videos. <sighs> nice and tucked in there. Now, <laughs> I will tell you, the one thing you have to do is remember where it is because you don't want it to rotate too much. So this is upright, so the little trick we used to use back in the day, cause yeah, I used to use these too. Little trick we used back in the day, put the disc upright, and then you do a little bit more spritz. Even the sprayer doesn't work. Okay, a little bit more spritz. Nice and upright on there. <sighs> Let's go. <laughs> it doesn't even sound healthy. This is brand new out of the box, brand new from Skip Doctor. 
or the medical center that Skip Doctor came from. I don't really know. Okay, so we're about halfway. We're gonna take it out. And so you can see, you see these lines? Those lines are what's actually gonna get basically burnt, sanded, printed onto the disc. The disc does not wanna focus though. Whoa, too dark. Okay, see those lines? That's what we're doing to the disc, okay? Because it's polishing it. All right. Right? Let me add a little bit more liquid since I was joking around. All the liquid does is it reduces the abrasiveness of the disc. If you wanted it to work real well, as in strip off way too much, you just wouldn't spray it and you'd go just bare pad in on there. Terrible idea. I'm fixing a disc. I'm gonna put this on eBay, professionally cleaned. Okay. So, yeah, there you go. So this, these are the lines that you will see. And then those lines are actually, it's, it's liquid. Let me use their cleaning cloth. About the only thing they do right on here. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, so you take this, which is just a piece of felt, but hey, let's pretend like it's something fantastic. And you wipe away from the center. Okay. Because that's doing things. And then you take the cloth and then you wipe it off with the cloth. But now here's the deal. Oh, I hate this so much. And someone's gonna be in the comments. Someone's gonna be like, well, I used it wrong. <laughs> okay, I probably did. I have the instructions. I watched their video and everything else and it's still, yeah, cool. <laughs> now the disc will play like for all its terribleness, the disc will play. Um, but that's what the Skip Doctor does. The Skip Doctor just takes its sweet time and burns off a small layer of the polycarbonate and then calls it good. <sighs> so there's that. Never use those. Don't use those. There's no reason to use those. All it's going to do is leave a very specific pattern on the disc that you guys should be able to see right now. Yeah, see that? Leaves a very specific pattern on the disc that tells anyone that comes in contact with this, hey, somebody used a skip doctor on this. Great. Great. Okay. But... Like I showed you before, I will show you one more again. A little bit of plastic polish, car polish, car scratch remover, plastic polish, acrylic polish, any kind of polish that you have. Spread it out and around on here. Actually, you know what? We'll only do half. So you guys can see the difference. Oh. Okay, we'll only do half so you guys can see the difference. Polish, 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 polish. Okay. It, it would be nice if there was a system where I could just pop a disc in. Don't, and don't, don't, don't say a JFJ. Don't say it. It'd be nice if there was a, something that I could pop a disc in that wouldn't remove too much material that could still polish things really well. Without moving, removing too much material. What you got then, JFJs? But if you were to take a Skip Doctor disc, Skip Doctored? Skip Doctored? Disc that was doctored by the Skip Doctor or one of his assistants. If you were to take a disc that was cleaned by the Skip Doctor and put it in a JFJ, Easy Pro, or an ELM, or an Eco Smart, or an Eco Pro, or any one of those, and polish it. It would also get rid of just the notorious Skip Doctor scalloping pattern. It would get rid of it as well. But we're going to do that 
we're going to do this right here, right now. Just a little bit of polish. A little cotton ball, a little bit of time. There we go. The nice thing about the cotton balls is you can also really adjust the size that you're using, which is kind of nice. I don't know how well this is going to come up on camera, though, but we'll see. Again, if not, I'll take a picture of this because this will definitely show you the big difference. And all we're really doing is just get, getting rid of those lines, getting rid of that stereotypical Skip Doctor line and giving a nice, smooth, even polish to everything so that it's, it's like a mirror finish. It's like a nice, clear polish. It's not that row and row and row of polish kind of thing. Okay, about running out of cloths at this point. I'm gonna water down my polish a little bit. Just adding a couple of little drops of water to the damp Q-tip or the damp cotton swab, cotton ball. I'll get it right one of these days. other side I can use not really there we go okay still needs nice finish polish but let's see Let's see what the camera picks up here. Not so much, you can see the line right there. Um, there's still scalloping over here, but it's significantly less than, <laughs> my goodness, <laughs> how bad that is. Yeah, so see how this, we've reduced it a great bit. So this is still the skip doctor side, right? And then we're going to turn it and this is not so this still needs probably another two or three rounds but compared to this so the area we're looking at are these these lines right here and you can if you keep an eye on the lines you'll see that they're gonna go away see that so it could probably use another round or two um but yeah, I mean, that's, these things don't work. Oh my goodness, that looks good. These things don't work that well. Um, I wish they did, but they don't. So, and they leave a very specific mark. They leave a very specific, you know, horizontal line mark. So if you see a disc that has that, that means at some point someone has cleaned it. Let's see if I can get rid of some of these little scratches if you see that that means that at some point someone has cleaned it with a skip doctor is that a deal breaker well that really depends on you personally if it is or isn't a deal breaker for me it's not a big deal um i just wish they wouldn't but it is something that with a little bit of polish you can get rid of pretty easily so I wouldn't say it's a deal breaker for me, but it is indicative as to how they take care of a lot of their games. I would much rather get a game from someone that is scratched rather than one that is in perfect condition that probably shouldn't be in perfect condition because a perfect condition game, you know, depending on the age and everything, a perfect condition game is going to be kind of weird, especially if it's an older game. You know, if it was a perfectly clean and spotless you know, King Kong, it'd be kind of weird, right? It might raise a couple red flags. So I much rather get discs that are a little scratched from people, and then I can decide if I want to polish it or not. But really, it just depends. So we'll do one more. Now I'm just getting picky, but that's okay. 
We'll do one more. And that should be a good, good indication. Here we go. So you see, we still have a little bit of lines on there, but then a ton of scalloping on here. And then you can see where it completely jumps off. See that? So lots of lines, lots of lines, lots of lines. And then it stops. This is a good example of, yes, you're polishing. Yes, I promise you it's doing something. Don't give up. However, do give up on the Skip Doctor. These things are, oh, not worth it. Also, it, it was like 40 or $50. You could get a bottle of car scratch remover for like $5, a couple of cotton balls for, I don't know, $3, and you're still way under how much you would pay for something like this, and you can polish them yourself. At any rate, the Skip Doctor did not take another victim today because we know better because we know how to polish if you do see a disc that has that scalloping on it you know what that's from um, and then you can make the assessment if it is something you want to purchase or not just be smart about it um you know it, it's a sign that it has been resurfaced and it's a sign that it's been cleaned up and maybe not in the best way so use your best judgment on those at any rate, I got a whole bunch more of these to clean. Someone actually gave me a big stack of scalloped Skip Doctor discs to mess around with. So we're going to be doing a couple of different ones of these. Thanks as always. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about any of this, leave me a comment down below. If you have a question about the Skip Doctor, you can ask me down below. If you use the Skip Doctor and it works great for you, that's cool. These are very particular and difficult things to use. They're not always the easiest thing to use, and also they leave permanent marks on the discs. But if you have luck with them, cool. I just, I tell people to not use them. Get out of here, doctor. At any rate, thanks everyone. I'm gonna keep cleaning. See you guys.